training program for our bank supervisors. So it's a combination of classroom training, on-the-job exposure, and online um, e-learning e facility, uh, which is the FSI Connect from the Financial Stability Institute housed in um, Basel, Switzerland. So before we actually put them in actual supervisory work, it's a three and a half program, um, uh, merged into on-site experience or off-site supervision. We also send some of our personal and foreign training sponsored by regional bodies and other uh, uh, peer regulators in other jurisdictions. What, um, in terms of setting policy direction, we, we are actually members of um, regional uh, organizations such as the INIAP and then the Basel Consultative Group wherein our governor previously chairs the work stream on financial inclusion. So we are quite updated in terms of regulatory developments because of our exposures with our um, colleagues in other jurisdictions. And in terms of capacity building, we have already a defined program for our supervisors. Um, we, we do issue a lot of regulations and there's always a question on the cost of compliance with these regulations. But what we're telling the banks is that if you just look at this from the um, cost per se, um, um, separate from having more effective risk management system to be able to manage risk and better strategize your, your businesses, that would be very, very indeed costly. But if you look at it, um, as, as a form of strengthening your controls and then your risk management system, then I think it, it's, it's worth complying with, with the regulations that we have. We adopted a consultative approach in our regulations. These are being exposed and discussed with members of um, the, the banking industry. And if, for example, we have issued regulations that are not, I mean, the old, the dated, the legacy regulations that we have, we are now in the process of reviewing them. Um, we are open to discussions with uh, members of the industry on that. In terms of the performance of the banking industry, the, the quality of the assets of the banking industry is it's satisfactory with very low non-performing loan ratios. And we have adequate coverage or provisions to cushion us from possible shocks also.